Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fourth day of the week where I guest design for the Penny Black blog. Today's card is very simple and very quick to make. First of all, I've used this die to cut out a couple of uh, pattern papers and uh, this die is from a die set which is called a pocket full and also I'm using this stamp which comes from the transparent set that's called Joy Field and I'm uh, going to stamp it on uh, this pattern paper using Versamark. I'm going to emboss it by using my gold embossing powder and I just love uh, using uh, gold on my Christmas cards. So there uh, you have that uh, nice red and once the, I have heat set it, uh, the stamp, now I can uh, go ahead and stamp my sentiment inside that uh, round shape. For my sentiment I've used uh, red ink just to keep uh, this uh, more vibrant and uh, let uh, the sentiment pop. And you can see how shiny my paper is. The card I'm creating today is very simple to make and uh, it's uh, great to mass produce. And it's also a great uh, scrap buster. So if you have any leftovers from uh, Christmas pattern collections from previous years, you can make this card and uh, all you have to do is just stack uh, those uh, pattern papers one on top of the other. Uh, nothing uh, too difficult actually. Now as you can see I have already created my card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half. That's a standard card and I have covered it up with that uh, striped uh, white and red pattern paper. Now I'm still working on my focal point uh, so on uh, that piece I'm trying to distress it as much as I can. I'm adding um, Tea dye by Tim Holtz as well as uh, using my distress tool all around the edges and once I'm happy with the outcome I can uh, go ahead and uh, distress the other pattern paper and then stick one on top of the other. As always you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using just below the video in the details area on YouTube as well as on my blog and also on the Penny Black blog since I'm I guess designing there for the whole week. To make things more interesting and to add a splash of color, I'm also going to use this red ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow on the first pattern paper. So you'll see me fighting with my ribbon there for a few minutes and once my bow is there, I'm going to make sure that it won't go anywhere by using a glue dot on the back of the bow. On the photo at the end of the video you'll see that I have also introduced yet another pattern paper which was a bit darker just to balance things up a bit. And this is where I'm securing the bow using a glue dot and I can go ahead and stick uh, both papers on top of my card base. And that was the simple card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for the last video of my week featuring Penny Black. Thank you all for watching.